Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I'm in Warsaw, Poland right now, but let me show you how I got here. And once I got here, let me show you the old town of Warsaw. It's incredible. So sit back and enjoy, guys. And hey, don't forget, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed these kind of videos and watch my whole series because I'll be vlogging during my whole trip in Europe and I'm going to see like eight or nine countries. I'm at the airport. First leg of my flight will be with United. So and there's no line, so I'm lucky. All right, I had no problem getting my boxes checked in, so that's a good one. Step one, complete. Four window exits over the wings. When open, ramps. All right, so I just got off my first flight. That's where I'm going to next. Holy cow. I had no idea that particular dinosaur right there was that big. Holy cow, that thing is... He's 30 feet up in the air. Wow, he's the big one. This is at Chicago Hare Airport. Check that out. Wow. Brachiosaurus healthy rocks. Look at the size of them bones on that thing. Holy cow. I'm glad he eats grass and not meat. I might want to add that this is the easy part to get to Ukraine. It's like 13 hours to fly there, and then you got to take uh, eight, nine hours on a bus. Then you've got to take 10 hours on a train. <laughs> and by the time you're done, it's three days to get there. But uh, I'm in the economy plus again, and I ended up with the same exact seat. I ended up when I flew back from Argentina. It's funny, and then, of course, I got my I got my uh, Zelensky shirt on, so I'm looking good. All right, guys, I'm already in Poland. I flew a lot. Polish Airlines. That's a big old plane right there. Ah, Poland may not be so bad. So this is Warsaw's uh, baggage carousel. I'm just waiting on my two boxes to come out. I guess they'll come out over there. Aha! Ah, Look at that. Both my boxes made it. Good. All right. First hurdle. This is my first view of Warsaw. Oh. I got, I'm talking in my video. <laughs> Trains. Oh, look at the train. There goes a train. How cool is that? But uh, this is Warsaw. I hope these guys don't get bombed by the Russians one day. Yeah. Is the right, yeah. the hotel. That's the Bristol. Yes. It's famous. Is the next is yeah. the president. Next is the president's yeah. house or office. So I'm staying right next to the president of Poland's office here at the Bristol yeah. Hotel. I guess I picked me a pretty swanky hotel here. Wow. He's got a little fancy doorman and everything coming out with his little cart.
to, they're giving me a nice upgrade because I'm being a good person here. Wow, check out this old elevator. It's from 1901 and it still works. Wow. Hello. 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 How are you? Where are you from? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there goes the old elevator. <laughs> this is so cool. Alrighty. Got my boxes going up to my suite. Okay, so let's see what my room is like here. Okay, I got a room with a view. Uh, right over the city square, so I'm facing the front road. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Great view. Okay. Bring it on in. So this is the bathroom at the Bristol. They even give you one of those little rope things. But anyway, I've got this thing about these boudets, boudets, whatever you call them. So you got a regular toilet, and then you got this thing here. Okay, I figured this is not for men because it's got to be for the ladies because it has no pressure, you know? Neither one has any pressure. So this must be only for ladies because I think of it for men, it would come out like a pressure washer. You know what I mean? So, damn it. Can't use it. Look at the ceiling heights in here. <laughs> it's got like 14 foot ceilings in this room. This hotel was built in 1901, and it was bombed during World War II. A bomb actually came through the roof of it, they said, but it didn't explode. All right, I'm getting some TV. Well, this is my first walk in Warsaw, and uh, Robert showed up here with me, so he's going to show me around the city a little bit. But so far, this is pretty cool. And I'm, like, right by the President's Palace, and, of course, I'm staying right there at the famous Bristol Hotel. All right, so this is like the little main street or one of the more famous streets. And of course, my Bristol Hotel is right there. But uh, we're gonna go have some uh, lunch with me and Robert here, okay? Somebody already recognized me from America because I'm wearing my Make America Great Again hat. Okay, so you gotta stand out when you're in Warsaw. Well, they were actually standing for us, and we're standing on the other side. Hey, darling, how you doing? <laughs> Same thing. And that's the old town right there. That is the old town, yes. Oh, what's that old wall? Is that, is that a, a, a fortification? That was fortification, wow. So that was a fort? It was the old town. The Bentley town had a sort of a wall. Yeah. So this is actually a part of the old town. So your wall was made out of brick, though? Yeah. So we're walking towards the old town right now in the King's Palace. Yeah. This so is uh, that is actually the King's Palace. Yeah, so it's a very European feeling here. Yeah, it's about 90 degrees here and I'm loving it and he thinks it's the scalding hot. It is. <laughs> it's one of the hottest time. It's as uh -huh. hot as it gets. It's so hot they got sprinklers over here and the dogs are running through them, but they don't realize this is nice compared to the Texas heat. So all this was blown up by the uh, by the Germans. Down to the ground, as they say. There's pigeons. Oh really? Well, I hope the Russians will never attack you guys here. Is that your biggest fear? Is the Russians? Really? You think they would actually do something like that? What is this area called right here? Old Town. It's Old called Town. Old Town, and that is the direct translation from Polish. Stare Miasto. Stare Miasto. Stare Miasto. Say it again. Stare Miasto. Okay, whatever you he said. Yeah, not bad. But it's Old Town. This is the Old Town. Well, I'm going to say now it's New Town because I'm here. Ron is in the town. So when I was in uh, Madrid, Spain, I liked the old doors. Now these are probably not that old, but they're made to look old, but who knows? They could be. Huh. Wow. Polish cuisine. A lot of churches you have here. 
the center square of the old town. Look at these buildings, they're so European looking. They're completely renovated uh, after the war. So really? We're trying to make it look as, as accurate as it gets. There so when were these originally built? I would say as long as, the, as they started to build up the town. Was that 1400, 1500? Uh, I would say, to that point I wouldn't tell you. I should get this guy to do a painting of me. They're, they're definitely not lacking any kind of supplies here in Poland. This is a little tiny pharmacy right off the old town square, but I mean, they have, the shelves are stocked. So if they need something across the line in Ukraine, I guess they can just come to Poland, right? Well, we are shipping everything we can practically now, so, um, sorry. It's like that entrance out. That's kind of, you don't see that every day. You gotta duck your head to get in this thing. That's a restaurant down there. Wow. There was a story here when they were defending the old town. Uh, the Germans have brought one of the carriers, I would say, the carriers where they were using to tear down the barricades. And they throw the gasoline uh -huh. uh, bottles. Yeah. They stopped the, the, this vehicle and then they brought it in here as a sort of a salvage. And then for whatever reasons, it's not exactly agreed why it happened, but it exploded. And you know, the crowd was cheering up as a success. Mm -hmm. and people were crawling all the thing and it exploded. And it killed 300 soldiers at once. And I think there were more than 600. 300, what kind of 300 soldiers? The, the uprisers. The, oh, oh the Polish so a lot of people died in this exactly square. Exactly in this square. And were they yeah. executing people here too? Wow. Yeah. You would, you would find a lot of, you know, places. So uh, does war, does Poland hold a lot of hate towards Russia and Germany? Germany, I guess, uh, not that much anymore. Although practically every family has somebody that was killed by the Germans during the war. Yeah. So you would say that right now Russia is the problem. So uh, oh. is that good? Oh. Yeah, it's good. It's a waffle, huh? Mm -hmm. Waffle time, yes. All right, looks very good. How's your ice cream? Thank you. All right. <laughs> So, and I see that little cone thing. So, you know what? I'm going to get one. I want that one right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I want the chocolate and vanilla one. <laughs> okay. How does it taste? Let's find out. Yeah. No, it's actually very good. Cool. It's my first ice cream in Poland. I don't get this video every day. <laughs> this ice cream's giving me a head rush. I gotta get me some water, but hey, here's an antique store. Let's see what is inside a Polish antique shop. Huh. That's something you don't see every day in America. It smells old in here too. I guess these are medals from World War II. Oh, thank you. You're good. Coming up on what looks like a fort. This is the old wall. Yeah, there's the wall right there. It's made of brick. This is the Museum Warsaw Barbakian. Museum of Warsaw the Barbaric Barbakian. Well, cannonballs would knock down this brick. Because that's where they can shoot out of. They shoot their bow and arrows. See that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so this turns out this castle or this wall, whatever you want to call it, was built in the year 1400, around 1400. And I guess that was before cannonballs. So all they needed to do to protect themselves from uh, arrows. So the brick wouldn't matter, but once the cannonballs came out, yeah, they could shoot right through that brick. You could, I, think it, I don't know if they are not the sign of the cannonballs here. Because this oh. Was in oh, I see. Yeah, cannonball holes in that wall over there. See that? 
the Swedish invasion. Wow. Sweden has also invaded Poland at some point in 1600. And... What I just found out, there was a moat around this thing, so there was a moat that went all the way around it. So there's a little bridge over it, but that would have been full of water back in its day. That yeah, is so cool. <laughs> they had a lot of, them of these moats here in uh, Europe when you visit these old castles. But this surrounded the entire city, the old city anyway. What's that say? Podwadl? Podwale? Podwale is the Pod name of the street. It's just next to the wall because this is the wall and this is actually the street. It's called like pre wall. Pre wall. Pre wall street. So the, the street that is outside of the city walls. Everything after that was inside of the old town and this one actually was built further. Well, let's go make this place famous. God. How are we supposed to eat all that? Well, I think knife and fork would be a good start. Holy cow. From the top? <laughs> hey, would you like some? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my God. I don't know if we can eat all that. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you the Robert, that was good. If you're happy, I eat, I eat happy. everything but the blood sausage. <laughs> take the best one. We're gonna go this way now. Yeah. Okay. I so. Now, what time is it here now? About seven. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Okay, it's starting to feel cool now. It feels good. All right, so we're gonna take another walk through the old town. And this was all destroyed during World War II and then rebuilt, huh? Completely. Completely. Well, Hitler said that we should raise Warsaw from the map of the ground for the world, and they did everything they could to, you know, to fulfill. Now, the how mission. much of this wall is original wall? I would say not much. Not much. So this is probably where they had a cannon at some point, right? I would guess based on the shape of it. Now that looks like that might be some of the original wall right there. It looks some pretty of the old. It's about five feet thick, six feet thick. So uh, this has bullet holes in the walls. This is from the uprising. You can see where bullets hit here, here, here. They're all over the place. A lot of places were, yeah. But yeah, there was battles fought here. So this is in the 1944, 1944 uprising. 1944 uprising for two months. Yeah. That was supposed to last for, I don't know, a week or something. And the Russians were standing on the other side of the river and just looking at it and waiting. So the Polish were fighting the Polish? No, the Polish were fighting the Germans because oh. they wanted to invite, in, to simply welcome the Russian army and uh, liberate the Polish city. Huh. And that they would owe the liberation of the city to the Russians. So we're leaving the old city now. Yeah. This is where we came in earlier, where the water fountain was on. Yeah. So that was very neat. So it, when people come to Warsaw, this is the must-see place come here and then walk back down the street, the one we came down, that goes right to the Bristol Hotel. So if you come here, you wanna stay in the Bristol, which is a first class five-star hotel. And then you uh, wanna just walk down the street with all the restaurants and see the old town, which is only probably, you know, a, a kilometer, three quarters of a mile walk, but it's a beautiful walk the whole way. Then you get to see stuff like that. This is a, gr a group of Ukrainians getting a tour of Poland. Slava Ukraine! Okay. Slava Nazis! Oh, they were modeling, darn it. I'm a supermodel. Ask them if they want to photograph me. I'm pretty good looking. Uh, yeah, no? Don't you think I'm as good looking as them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in Warsaw, Poland, near the old town. And this is the most intricate, beautiful, intensive, hand-forged handrail I've ever seen in my life. 
I've been doing this all my life. I don't even see welds on it anywhere. I think it's all done by hand and hot rivets. But the finish on here, it's not rusting or anything. Beautiful. I can hear this song. It's coming from this guy. beautiful gates right across from my hotel well wow. then my hotel is this right over there say hello. hello this is actually so peaceful just sit here people are just walking by I'm out on the bench in front of the hotel it's just so nice it's like 80 degrees now, 75 degrees. It feels great. It's just so calm here in Warsaw. No crappy people. I'm telling you guys, when you come to Warsaw, it's only, it was $190 a night, beautiful. Somewhere between four and five stars. Uh, a lot of history built 1901 it was actually bombed by the germans then it was rebuilt and it's right on the main street where you can walk right down the street see all the restaurants end up in the old town just a half mile away a yellow viper i don't know if i've ever seen a yellow dodge viper huh so this is probably a 94 94 95 i'm guessing maybe even sooner but uh Wow. My room is right there. That's my room. Okay, so these two lovely ladies are gonna take a picture with my car. I'm an American, so. We, we can hear okay, you. oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm basically I'm gonna put you on YouTube instead. Oh. Is that better? Very popular. Yeah. Guys, I came all the way over here to help these wonderful Ukrainian people. Slava, Ukraine. Get on, I'm Slava. Huh? Yeah, she got to say. Okay. Что это, бойцы? Слава Украине! Слава! So this is Friday evening, and it's uh, about eight o'clock, a little past eight o'clock. It's very cool right now, and everybody is out walking the streets. And of course, there's my Bristol Hotel, which is wonderful. But I'm gonna walk down the street here and uh, go eat some spaghetti at this restaurant at eight at early. It's really good. But um, it's a lot more busy tonight than it was last night. So I'm going to head out tomorrow morning. I'm going to take a bus to Lviv, spend the night in Lviv. And then I will take a train from Lviv into Kiev and I will arrive in Kiev Sunday evening and begin my work on Monday. So this should be very interesting. I'm gonna go across the street, eat at this place if I don't get hit by a car. But uh, sure is nice and busy this evening. So I had the spaghetti here earlier with this garlic. It was incredible. So guess what, guys? I'm gonna go have it again. Well, I'm gonna sit outside here and have me a little dinner. Watch all the people walk by. 
You don't get to do this every day, do you? But uh, this is Warsaw, Poland. Well, that's what I came back for. That spaghetti with garlic sauce and butter is really good. This restaurant I'm eating at right here, whatever it's called, Restaurant Cinema. This is, there's the Bristol. There's the church with all the bells that you're going to hear. Then there's that beautiful wall with all that hand forged handrail and the statue. And then this leads right down to Old Town, which you can actually see it way down there. Here's my favorite guy. Hello. I like your hat. Thank you very much. <laughs> and welcome to the Bristol Hotel. This is about as nice as it gets in Poland. It's beautiful. Built in 1901, bombed by the Germans, rebuilt. And uh, now it's where all the diplomats stay when they visit Poland and see the president's palace right next door. So guys, I hope you enjoy my little tour of Warsaw. I was here two nights, and I must say the city's clean, it's beautiful, the people are wonderful. And if you ever visit Europe, come to Warsaw and stay in this area right here. Of course, I stayed at the wonderful Bristol Hotel, and I highly recommend it. It was suggested to me, I stayed there, I'm sure glad I did, because everything is so close. I just got to walk across the street and there's all the uh, stores and all the restaurants and the old town as well. And it's fun just to watch the people walk by and usually uh, flash me in my video. So guys, make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on my trip because tomorrow I'll be in Ukraine.